Hey guys, welcome to another one of these amazing, outstanding, get your dick wet training videos. I'm Nick Rogue. Tonight we're gonna to be talking about why you should be going for same night seductions and why it's gonna be a lot more effective than any of the other styles of getting girls into bed. Why it's gonna be more effective for you to get her in bed the first night you meet her as opposed to going on a long string of dates, doing all sorts of phone calls to get things to work out so that you can meet up. Why it's going to be more effective? Because I know that there's some guys that are watching this who think, well, you know, banging her the same night, that's kind of icky. And yes or no, but I'm going to show you why that's going to be, for most guys, the most effective route. And in fact, it might be the only route you're going to ever be able to make it happen if you like to bang hot girls. So let's talk a little bit about distinctions here. When a lot of guys hear the idea of same night seduction, they tend to think of it synonymously with a one night stand. And they actually are not the same. Now, um, although some one night stands can be same night seductions, uh, not always the case. A one night stand is when you bang a girl and it's a one time deal, it's never gonna happen again, and it could actually happen to you when you meet her the same night, if that's what you choose. Or it could be that you've had one whiskey shot too many and you end up banging that chubby girl that's been chasing you for a while and you, the next day you're left thinking, God damn it, what did I do? Uh, that could also be a one night stand. A same night seduction is basically when you meet her and bang her the same night that you meet her. Yes, it could lead to a one night stand and you can bang one girl one night, the next night you go and bang another girl and another and another, and you can do that for a long time. I've done that and it is a lot of fun. You can also use a same night seduction to start a relationship. In fact, it's one of the better ways because if you are able to bang the girl the first night, you already know that you have chemistry. And if you are good enough in bed that she wants to hang out with you again in the future, lots of relationships can happen that way. In fact, I'm in a relationship right now. Shh, it's totally bad marketing to say that, but it started off with the same night seduction. Also, you could turn your same night seductions into fuck buddies, booty calls, uh, girls that you call up whenever, uh, you don't have any other options or whatever, you went out and didn't meet any girls, well, these girls will always come back if you do things properly. Now, I've got to get to a confession here or to, uh, i got to reveal something to you. Let's talk about hot girls. I know that you're watching this video because you want to bang hot girls, but here's the secret about hot girls. If you're a hot girl, your reality is that life is a never-ending buffet of dick. Seriously, they are getting offered dick everywhere they go. Uh, they go to the movie theater. Hey, you want to see this movie? And oh, also dick. They go to a restaurant. Um, yeah, that, that uh, entree that you ordered also comes with a side of dick. You want some? They are getting constant opportunities to have sex with just about everyone. So if you're the kind of guy that can go out and meet a nice girl, maybe you get her number, maybe you decide that you're going to meet up with her later. Well, guess what? A lot of the times, if she's a hot girl, you're not the only guy approaching her. You might get her number and, you know, the next night some other guy meets her, gets her number, or is able to actually take her home. He's actually able to close the deal. And no matter how exciting or how much fun she had in that initial interaction with you, she's kind of forgotten about you because she's already banging some other dude. Um, not to mention that if you go out and you are meeting these hot girls and maybe getting their numbers trying to set up dates, a lot of the times what you're going to find is that Girls are flaky, especially really hot girls. Why? Because they have plenty of opportunities. So that's, you really need to be maximizing that time. Uh, I don't really like talking on the phone. I really don't like texting girls. I do it when I have to, and I'm actually pretty damn effective at it. But even if you can get these girls to show up later, you're basically going to be starting from square one. You're going to be starting from scratch all over again because other things have happened in the in interim and she needs to be escalated on again. So you, all that awesome work that you did is a lot of the times gonna be kind of worthless and you gotta start all over again when you meet up with her in real life. And that's assuming that she actually does show up. How many girls have you done this and you just never meet up with them again, no matter how awesome the initial interaction was. You see where this is going? It's a little bit difficult. So let's talk about why you should be going for same night seductions. First off, it's efficient. Uh, you're not wasting your entire night in the bar. You are, sure, you're still getting numbers that you can work on in the back end because a lot of girls are not gonna have the logistics for you to take them home that night. 
So you're going to be getting a lot of gravy on the back end, but it's efficient use of your time that night because if you go out looking to get laid that night, most of the time if you're following what we teach, it's going to happen. You're going to go out and get laid. You're also going to have all those numbers that you can follow up with on, on the back end. So you're going to be getting laid on the back end as well. You're going to be maximizing your time while you're in the bar. Uh, no more of this waiting till the bar closes or waiting till last call to pull the girl out of the bar. If you do this right, you could be pulling a girl out of the bar at 10 o'clock. Um, you don't need to be there all night. And, you know, if you're like a lot of guys, myself included, you know, I am really good at meeting and seducing women in bars. But I don't like to be in loud dance clubs all night. I would rather at 1030 have an attractive girl on my arm leaving to go bang. Um, you're also, if you do this right, you won't have to be at the bar all night spending your money on countless drinks for yourself and for the girl or whatever. You can, you know, have a drink or two for yourself if you're so inclined and then go home, saving a lot of money. Um, the other reason why same night seductions are so much more effective is logistics. Listen, I kind of alluded to this earlier, but a girl is most likely to bang whatever is right in front of her in the, that moment. So, you know, like I was saying in the other cases, if you don't get those logistics that night and some other guy comes along and has those logistics, guess who she's gonna be banging? The person who's right in front of her at the time. In fact, there's really only two things that you need to be managing in any interaction, and it really simplifies the entire uh, seduction mindset if you can think about it in only these two things. Those two things are, can I, get her to a place where sex can realistically occur, which is the logistical aspect of things, and can I escalate this interaction so that she's at least somewhat turned on? If you can do those two things, my friends, you will be getting laid. Now, I wanna talk about the most important reason for a lot of guys watching this video. Um, look at me, I am not the most attractive dude. I'm chubby, bald, and not the kind of girl that I walk into a bar and has girls like nudging their friends. Hey, see that dude over there? Yeah, yeah, the fat pudgy one. That's the guy I want to bang. Rarely happens to me. Uh, I will go as far as to say that it's never ha happened to me. Thing is, for guys, if you're not the best looking, if you you know have a few things, maybe you're getting older, you are chubby, bald, whatever, not um, chiseled, and uh, you know with the looks of Brad Pitt or George Clooney, you're best shot, in fact, a lot of the times your only shot is to be able to have the skills to bang her the same night you meet her. Um, and think about it this way, when it comes to what girls go home and diddle themselves to, what drives women wild as far as their fantasies are concerned, and if you were to go into any Barnes & Noble or Borders and pick up a romance novel, the stuff that's in there is not about, oh, six dates and then I can have sex with them. Oh, that's so hot. No, that is not the thought that girls go home and masturbate to. They are thinking about the kind of guy who has the power, the ability, and the know-how on how to quickly escalate things, sweep them off their feet and into the bedroom really quickly. That's what girls masturbate to. If you want to be that kind of fantasy, you're going to have to know exactly how to escalate things quickly and comfortably and in a way that makes her so that she is able to live out that fantasy that she often has. Because if she does this, she can backwards rationalize anything. She can backwards rationalize that you were the most attractive guy on the planet, better looking than George Clooney, better looking than Colin Farrell, all of that kind of stuff. She can backwards rationalize that it was meant to be because why else would it have happened so quickly? You're gonna notice another really weird thing that if you can escalate really, really rapidly so the same night seductions occur, you get almost zero resistance in the end because the only kind of person that she would be going home with is the kind of guy that knows exactly how to do it. And she'll backwards rationalize that this is right because of that. So that's all I have today. Guys, if you're not going out and looking for those same night seductions, you're probably wasting your time and effort and money I want to save you all of that effort, that time, that money. So continue to watch some of these videos. If you'd like, go check out Same Night Simplified. We go into everything, every little nook and cranny of how to seduce properly. So with that, get some.